Hello guys, as a human, we have to not to be a greedy people. If some of you still act as a greedy people, then you have to hear the story that I will tell to you. It is about the, a farmer and a hedgehog, stu, hedgehog statue. The story, was com, the story is coming from west of Kalimantan. It was a hot day and a farmer was working in the field. He had worked for several hours, so he wanted to get us. Just before he found a nice place to us, he found a, a shiny object. He walked to the shiny object and took it. It was a hedgehog statue. It was very beautiful. The eyes were made of diamonds and he broke the statue to home and showed the statue to his wife. And his wife was very happy. Then, because they were very poor, they decided to sell the statue. At night, the farmer had a dream. A giant hedgehog came to him and said, Let me stay in your home, and as a return, I will give you everything you want. Just caress the statue's head and say the prayer. But remember, there are two kinds of the prayer. One is to start your wish, and second is to stop your wish. Now, memorize the prayer. At the following morning, the farmer told his wife about his dream. They were really wanted to prove it. Then the farmer touched the hedgehog and caressed the hedgehog's the hedgehog statue's head. He said the prayer and asked for the rice. Magically, the rice came out from the statue's mouth. And the rice kept on coming out from the statue's mouth. He, he magically said the prayer to stop this fish. And it worked. So he measured the other things. They are jewelry and other stuff. He, he it just in a few moments they become very rich. So they share their materials to other people. But there was one like one who was very jealous. Actually he was a thief. He wanted to know how what, how the farmer became very rich. So when he found out, he stole the statues and ran away. But after he, he was he felt tired from running and technos. He was very thirsty and said the prayer to ask the water from the statues. The water came out from the statues' mouth and he was very happy. He drank the water but when he wanted to stop drinking, the water kept on coming from the statue's mouth. He was very panicked. How to stop this water? He forgot about the prayer. He, he asked to help, but everyone who saw him he was very scared and ran away to avoid the water. And the, the water more and more surrounded him. It surely became 
a small part of the water flow from the corn and it became a river. Everyone in that place called the river as Hitchcock River or Sungai Landa. That's all the story that I will I tell to you. We can learn from this story that we have not to be a greedy people. When we have something to share, we have more money or something, we have to share them to other people from it. I hope it will be useful for that not only for me but also only but also for you and everyone who watched it. Thank you.